On Wednesday, two officers with the Police Motor Traffic and Transport Department, Sergeant Michael Jamasi and Lance Corporal Mohamed Awal, were shot by occupants of an unregistered Toyota Corolla who had refused to stop during a motor check along the Kasua to Budumburam stretch. One of them died instantly, while the other passed on subsequently. Senior police officers from the Central Regional Police Command on Wednesday night visited the families of the two policemen. The team, led by Regional Commander COP Paul Manley Awene, commiserated with the families of the deceased and assured them of the service's commitment to bring the perpetrators to book. Three suspects have so far been arrested and efforts are being made to arrest a fourth person. The acting inspector general of police led a delegation to also meet with the families on Thursday. Speaking to the various families, the acting IGP, James Opombuenu, indicated the administration will provide a congenial atmosphere for police officers to work. I appeal to Ghanaians, do not look at this at this as between the criminals and the police. You must help us smoke them out. Whatever they are, we must smoke them out and we will smoke them out. And we have definition. Let me assure all Ghanaian police all Ghana police officers through this occasion that We will protect them. We will make sure that they have the congenial atmosphere to do the work for which they will, will, be, will be employed. We're taking some, taking delivery of some uh, bulletproof vests. We have already started distribution. We have uh, also taken delivery just recently of body cameras, which we are also going to uh, deploy. There are not many, but we them to those in the, in the streets, in the streets, those on the front line. So these are the two things I want us to bear in mind. That as an organization, we are going to protect police officers, make sure that they are well equipped to, de to deal with criminals who want to just harm them. The details will come later. Then to the people of Ghana, I've already asked for your support and for your cooperation. And on behalf of the membership of the Ghana Police Service, I can assure you that we will not be daunted by these cowardly acts. Interior Minister Ambrose Derry, who was part of the delegation that visited the families of the slain officers, also spoke to City News. The policy of not arming police on traffic distance has changed. I've directed the IG, actor IGP, as he has said. From now on, we would insist that police or traffic duties should be armed. They would also be required to wear protective gear, a jacket, and a helmet. And here, acting IGP, as I said yesterday when I was opening the conference, the officers, these officers in Ghana tell me it's uncomfortable to wear the vest. But you don't know that when Ghana police officers are on you and duty, they wear the gear. So I would ask that you insist that when you give them the gear, they wear the gear and you enforce that strictly. This will enable our men in uniform, our police, to effectively exercise their right of self defense, which, if they were appropriately equipped, have avoided this situation. It will also enable them as police of patrol to fight violent crime and to fight suspects and criminals of the kind that they need. We are inspired by the death of Lance Corporal Mohamed Awal. We are not deterred and as the Attorney General Police has said, they shall pursue the companies and bring them to book. And we shall ensure that the peace and security of this country, the peace and security of this area, regardless of the previous characters of land guards or whatever, cannot 
Come on, hold it, this is your answer.